Okay, so I have a very funky camera angle, but it's only because of, well, it's the only spot on this table that I can put my phone and position it in a way that you can see me. Hi. I wasn't entirely planning on doing a video today, to be honest, but I got a pretty sweet box in the mail of books. You're like, ooh, books, boring. But I wanted to do a book haul, and it's a specifically a Star Wars book haul. But I did get one, one Star Trek book. Ew, Star Trek, gross. Um, and I thought I'd just go ahead and show you guys. So they're in pretty decent condition for being used. I think the worst one is this Old Republic book. I'll now show you um, that in a second. Obviously, they're going to have some like discoloration on the pages because they're older books but that's fine with me it's just like creases if there's like a bunch of creases that tells me that the person read it a lot which is fantastic but also means I'm not going to be able to read it a lot because <laughs> it will fall apart on me and I can attest to that because I can show you someday my very first copy of Lord of the Rings it's my only copy of Lord of the Rings but I need a new one because, like, it's taped together. <laughs> so, um, I have this one, which is called Spectre of the Past by Timothy Zahn. And it's a hardcover, which is sweet. I don't have a lot of hardcover of these older books. They're harder to find, I think. Um, yes, they are reprinting some of these uh, legends or expanded universe books. I'm so excited. I think I want to post a picture on my Instagram. Like, I normally don't want to do that. I have no idea how I'm going to, like, I might, like, throw the books on the back of this chair, like, in a quick video <laughs> or something to do a reel, because I think that'd be so fun. Um, but Inspector of the Past, which, again, is in excellent condition. I have, let's do, let's do these ones, because they're, like, right on top. I have Dark Saber by Kevin J. Anderson. This is in pretty good condition. There's, like, a little kind of like a slight bent corner right here which is fine um because again I I care right here the most um because I want the binding to be really intact still so I can read these a lot because I don't know how often Disney will reprint these books um they are now because I guess they realize how popular they are yeah so, I have Dark Saber, which is awesome. I have, okay, this one is called Yoda Dark Rendezvous, a Clone Wars novel by Sean Stewart. <clears throat> this is in really good condition. I think there's just a little, like, actually, that's it. No, oh, yeah, it's in great condition. So, Yoda Clone War novel. I know these aren't. Like, even with the Clone Wars cartoon, it's not canon, but you can find a way to make it work, I swear. Um, I have this older one here, Slave Ship Bounty Hunter Wars Book 2. Very nice, by K.W. Jeter? I'm not sure. And really, for this is an older book, too. This is from 98, and it's in really good condition like wow some of these are pretty old <laughs> I say pretty old even though they're from the 90s but it you know they're like 20 plus years old now right I have Jedi Child which is a Clone Wars book by David Sherman and Dan Craig all right there's Mr. Anakin Skywalker very nice this one's in really good condition too Sweet. I used to have this book, I think. And I might have gotten rid of it because I needed... I probably traded it because I needed a book, maybe for school or something. I'm not sure. But I think I had that book. I don't have it anymore. This is Cross Current by Paul S. Kemp. Alrighty. I don't know this one. I don't think I've read this one. This is also in pretty good condition. Sweet. I won't keep saying that, I, I promise. I, I'll point out if it has any flaws. How about that? I have ha the Han Solo Trilogy Volume 1, The Paradise Snare. Ooh, 
AC Crispin. Um, this one has like, it's kind of bent a little up here. Um, I think if you see it like this, see? It's a little bent up, but that's okay. And here too, like this is a little bent up. It looked like it might have went and he tried to flatten it or she, I'm not sure who my seller was, but they kept their books in pretty good. There's a actual little rip right here in pretty good condition. But um, this isn't like the Han Solo trilogy of, like of the expanded universe was never like one of my big favorites. <laughs> um, but here's one I've I've really wanted, which is Rogue Planet by Craig Bear. We've got Obi Wan and Young Anakin. Um, so fun, fun, fun. And this is another one I really wanted, Tatooine Ghost. I really wanted this one because it talks about, like, Leia learning about Shmi Skywalker. And I love it because Shmi doesn't get that much love, right? This is by Chori Denning. Okay. And then I have The Truce of Bakura by Kathy Tire, Ty Tires. Um... This one's also really cool because it's the first time since Return of the Jedi you see Spirit Anakin. Um, and he goes to talk to Leia, which I think is nice. Uh, so, this is a great book. Uh, I think there's like a tiny little crease right here. But it's only like from here down to here. So, it's okay. This And then there's like a, this corner is creased. Um... Yes, I'm a book snob. I want my books to stay pretty, and, but still read them. <laughs> I know, it's weird. I have this one, which is Star Wars Republic Commando Hard Contact by Karen Travis. The, there's that one. Nothing to point out for that one. I have, oh wait, ooh, be careful. The New Republic. No, sorry, The New Rebellion by Christine Catherine Rush. Right here. You got Han, Luke and Leia right there on the cover, which is cool. And Han, sorry. Can't see Han very well. This is a really cool one. I'm not sure how long after Return of the Jedi some of these books are. Um, some are obvious because they say Clone Wars on it, right? Um, and some I don't know off the top of my head. I used to remember. Um, I have Tales from the Empire, and it's got different tales from different authors, so there's Boba Fett. And this one has like a big crease like going here. Still going, I got a lot of books. Um, Children of the Jedi by Barbara Hambly. And here, this corner's creased. Um, that's kind of it. Can I just say I'm so ha today was terrible. That it's the 14th of November. It was a terrible day. I'm so happy to have gotten these books. So the some of them kind of smell, or maybe it's something else. I don't sure. I'm smelling a smell, and I don't like it. I got Splinter of the Mind's Eye by Alan D. Foster. I showed this one right. Just see it again. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what that smell is. I was like, it's in my hands, so I didn't wash my hands. Okay. So this I, this fun story about this one is this was actually like George Lucas's um, plan for a sequel. Um, not what he actually wanted to do, but it's because... He wasn't sure if he was going to get Empire Strikes Back made, so he had Alan Dean Foster write something in a book form. And he's like, well, that could be a sequel, even though that's not the actual story he wanted to tell. So, For this book, it's in really good condition um, for being as old as it, it is, you know? I wonder... I wonder if my dog pooped in the house. Ooh, snap. That's not good. Because it smells... You know what? It smells like... 
it's bothering me. And I, I don't want to refilm this because then I have to take all the books out again. And yeah, I'm being lazy because it was a rough day, I swear. I have The Old Republic Fatal Alliance by Sean Williams. I think Sean Williams wrote something else. Force Unleashed. Um, I don't know. This one, I think what happened was they got wet. So, like, some of the pages are kind of, see, if you can tell, they're kind of crinkled up. Which is okay. Um, because I think these ones, they're republishing. So, I could always find this one a little easier. Um, but there's also a crease down here and here. This is probably the worst damaged of the books. And he did say some of them are like have a little damage to him so I appreciate the what is this it's the top of a Reese's Pieces box <laughs> it was in the book well I'm gonna leave it in there um I'll throw it away later okay there's that book I have I have this book already this is the novelization of episode one mine has I believe Queen Amidala on it on the cover because each book had a different cover so I picked Queen Amidala because she's my favorite character. This one, I think all the mass market paperbacks had Darth Maul, regardless of if they had another character. Um, it has a crease here. It's kind of shiny, isn't it? Does it look shiny? Yeah. I, I think it's fun to have another copy of the book. Um, my personal favorite novelization is Revenge of the Sith, second being Attack of the Clones. Um... I don't really care for the novelizations of the original trilogy. I'm like, I'd rather watch the movie. Whereas with the prequels, I want I want to do both. I want to read it and I want to watch it. So I have the Dark Nest trilogy number two, The Unseen Queen by Troy Denning, which I think this one is the first time they've brought up Padme in post Revenge of the Sith world. Um, so, like, R2's on the fritz, right? And they find recordings of Padme and Anakin. So, Luke and Leia finally learn who their mother is right here. I don't think they've done that in canon yet, as far as I know. I haven't read all the canon books. Because these are no longer canon, right? They used to be. And um, when George Lucas was in charge, there was, like, a tier of canon. It was, like, you had his stuff up top. You had the TV stuff here, and then had like the books and comics on the bottom, and that's how canon was divided up back then. Like George's movies, that was the god tier, right? And then everything else was kind of supplementary, um, and you kind of picked or, or chose what you thought was canon after that. But canon was the six films, right? Um, this is not the last book, but this is the last Star Wars book. Um, it's this one. It's like, I think it's a kid's book. It's got Legacy of the Jedi and Secrets of the Jedi by Jude Watson. And it's got Anakin on the cover. And in the background you see Yoda, Dooku, Qui-Gon, and Obi-Wan. Which is fitting because Yoda trained Dooku, Dooku trained Qui-Gon. He trained Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan trained Anakin. So it's like this lineage of Jedi, of this Jedi family in a sense, Right? And then I have this Star Trek book. I don't know what it's about. Also, I, did, I didn't get this in my box, but I picked this up at Barnes & Noble yesterday. It's the reprinting of the Jedi Academy Trilogy Book 3, Champions of the Force by Kevin J. Anderson, which is fun. Um, how about a cool non-Star Wars book? I mean, I haven't read this book, but it's by Robert Jordan, The Eye of... The World, which is the time, what is it, Wheel of, Wheel of Time series. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Lots of fun books. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, no. Bye.